So why not wheat is a, an American style uh, filtered wheat beer, as you can see. Nice and clear, there's no suspended yeast inside the beer. It's, uh, it's about 35-40% wheat malt. Uh, it's a nice clean hop aroma from uh, Czech Sars hops. It's my lightest beer. It's uh, about 4.6% alcohol, 15 IBUs. Uh -huh. And uh, well, obviously you can see the color for yourself. Nice pale uh, straw colored beer. Light, crisp, refreshing. It's just a um, entry to, uh, to craft brewed uh, light summer beer. Oil. It's a nice, refreshing taste. No, no real aftertaste. Just a uh, nice body from the wheat malt. Uh, some crisp and clean, really. That's that's basically what this beer is all about. Okay. Great. Yeah. All of my beers really are session beers, so I really try not to uh, make similar beer styles to what's available elsewhere in the uh, in the local market. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense just to kind of be a me too. So the uh, the, the tipple, for instance, is only 5.1% alcohol, whereas most uh, local IPAs are in the upper sixes, lower sevens. Uh, it also uses English uh, uh, base malt, Marisalta. Most of my beers use Marisalta base malt, uh, and then it uses uh, East Kent Goldings for hopping. Uh, okay. And I dry hop with East Kent Goldings, and this one's actually got some fuggles in the in the dry hop as well. So. Uh. So it's, uh, it has a, a slightly different aroma profile. The local versions obviously use American hops, Cascade, right. um, uh, some Simcoe, Citrus starting to be a popular hop now, things like that. Whereas my English hops definitely have a different aroma. They're more uh, spicy, a little more earthy, a little less uh, um, uh, citrusy, like a little less grapefruity. So again, it's a it's a it's a session beer. It's very drinkable, kind of a medium body. Nice crisp bitterness, but again, it's balanced. Uh, it's about 44 IBUs, 5.1 percent ABV, as I mentioned. So uh, really a session beer. Uh, good cast conditioned, which I've just started to do recently. Oh, okay. So that. Uh, Definitely has a more authentic English uh, style profile. Right, right. So that's kind of my uh, the take for New English is that we're trying to, to mix some of the the more popular English uh, styles, uh, but with you know, with, a, with a kind of a West Coast twist. So uh, we either uh, I mean you like the ESP for example. We'll get that to that in a minute. But the, the IPA uh, for sure that started to become popular again in England. Now, especially because of American influence, it's kind of a funny symbiotic relationship between uh, English craft brewing and American craft brewing. Um, West Coast IPAs, very popular in the UK. The locally produced versions are much more like this. So this is kind of what you're going to find if you go into a pub in England and you say, you know, I'll have an IPA. Uh -huh. It's going to be more like this and a lot less like the, the local. The West Coast, brands, yeah. yeah. So. Great, cool. So, uh, so the Brewer's Special Brown Ale is a really kind of dark, uh, roasty, uh, full-bodied English-style brown ale. It's about 6.6% alcohol, 33 IBUs. So it has a, just a very um, mellow, very light pop aroma for Fuggles, uh, English Fuggles. And uh, again, the base malt. There's some Maris Otto in there, there's some, uh, there's some Victory malt in there, there's a lot of Crystal malt in there, there's some Roasted malt. So, uh, Got a great color. It's really smooth, yeah. it's easy drinking, it's got a nice, like I said, roast, a little chocolatey uh, flavor. Very popular with my best selling beer at the moment. This was kind of an accidental uh, recipe when I was brewing at the, um, uh, the, the it's Miami Grill now, but it used to be called the Way of Brewery, uh -huh. the UTC Mall. Yeah. And uh, I was making this beer, I was making a beer, and um, we had some problems during the brew day, and you know we got the stuck mash, and we had a really long runoff, and uh, I actually threw in a bag of malt, which I it was mixed up, it was mislabeled, and so it went in, and so the, the beer didn't come out uh, quite as planned, but it came out like this. Then I had to kind of 
Got to figure out what you threw in. Yeah. Figure out how to kind of recreate this beer. But that year we won a gold medal at the LA County Fair with this beer. So I figured I better keep making it. So <laughs> sometimes happy accidents happen, you know. So. so this is kind of where it all started for me. This is the uh, the homebrew recipe that I had been working on for a while, and uh, uh, when I became a uh, professional brewer, I started making this at the brewery I just mentioned. So uh, it's kind of my my favorite beer, if you like, that I make, um, because it's closest to, to my traditional English roots. But again, it's kicked up a little bit. It's 5.8% uh, alcohol, which is it's pretty good ABV for an English beer. Uh, it's about 43 IBUs, so similar to the to the IPA actually in, in bitterness. Um, but it's just a nice, clean, uh, copper-colored English-style pale ale. Hopped with, uh, actually it's hopped with a combination of, of English and American hops, so there's some, um, there's some Fuggles in here and some Willam Willamette in here. Willamette is the, the American cousin of the English Fuggle, so that's kind of why I put those two together in this, in this beer. It's a nice, um, dry, uh, bitter pale ale. It's got a nice, uh, uh, clean taste, nice dry finish. A good solid, a good solid English English ESP really. So I don't know what else there is to say about that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>